Hello again everyone and welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd make another video, quick video for you. I was on, I was watching um, Paddy and Justin's, one of their uh, podcasts, be, like, be a bit belated because I couldn't watch it live unfortunately. And um, oh, really good podcasts as they are. And of course, um, I think it was Streaming El Elderman uh, who made a comment saying he would like to see a comparison between the uh, Rough Rider, um, my Carter of course, uh, Warncliffe, if you will, and the Rough Rider work knife. Great, both great knives, okay? And that gave me an idea. I thought, oh, I might as well do that while I'm doing this. It just, I thought, okay, uh, do a comparison. Um, both great uh, knives, guys. Like I say, I've used both of them, okay? Now, it depends on actually what you're doing, where you're doing it, if it's rainy, if it's damp, and stuff like that, okay? Um, for example, if I was had to choose a knife for using Whitling, I had two knives, let's say, and okay, uh, one for detail work and one for main work, just to remove that primary, that wood main wood stock, okay? I can use this, this is fantastic, okay? It's thin enough, it's sharp enough, it's, it's a Warncliffe. The two blessed blades for um, Whitling is the Warncliffe and the Sheep's Foot, okay? Now, this is this great in the hand. It's a lovely, if you're more of a traditionist than this, because obviously you've got the pins, you've got the bolster, all that stuff. It's nice and flush, um, brass linings. It's a, it's got traditional overtones, right? Of course it has, yeah? And if you're more into modern, um, this is a bit, it's a modern uh, traditional, if you will, or modern folder, isn't it? So this would be more you. They're both my Carter scales. One, obviously you've got that blue black, that lovely blue black, okay? It's a layered my Carter, a bit like a snooker or pool cue, if you will, okay? Um, just really nice, just absolutely lovely. Great for point work, detail work. This makes a good work knife, as it's um, you can use it as a beater, but a light duty beater, if you will. More for EDC, um, so good EDC knife, okay? If you, you know, for light use, if you want to make more hard use, I'd go for this, because this is 440A steel, which is good, as long as you know how to sharpen properly, but this, is VG10, which originates, I think, from Japan, um, where they made lots of chef knives with it and things like that back in the day, 20, 30 years ago, whatever. And it's a great steel. It was a premium steel back in the day, which is now <laughs> seen as a very a great budget steel. And, and it's a fantastic steel, guys. Holds a really good edge. And again, another Warncliffe, great for point work, just general purpose uh, work and stuff like that. Okay, your EDC, you can use this for an EDC or hard use it. If you're working outdoors and it's a little bit moist and damp um, or even rainy a little bit, you've got this micarta, but it's a, like a linen micarta and it's a lot bit more grippy. Okay, so it's not going to slip in the hand so much. So that's the option I'm to go for if it's a hard use. And then, of course, is price. So basically, we're talking, uh, um, I think, £23, something like this. And this is basically double the price, £40, £44. Pounds. So it's double the price, guys. Um, but, you know, again, it depends. Um, but that's that's my take on it. I mean, you've got the roughly the same. So this is a little bit thicker. Okay, a little bit roughly the same size. This one's a little bit longer. Just absolutely lovely. <laughs> it depends. So I'll say, it depends what you're doing. Um, yeah, this is much more of a, this has got integral bol bolsters, as you can see, look, a bit like the Jack Wolf in that regard. So you got, it's a bit more, it's more modern, isn't it? It's got that modern, um, look to it. Okay. So it depends on the aesthetics, the lines, what type of thing you like, the price, what you can afford, what you're using it for. So there's all these variations guys, but I just thought I'd put a quick video out there and do it. Also with this one, um, you can swap them around <laughs> you can so it's a bit of fun you can play around especially if you you know you can uh swap these blades around with this body you can swap all these blades around in each and every body it doesn't matter okay which is a bit of fun a bit like a lot of the youth are changing their mobile phones to change the covers don't they so that's the way we're going i suppose so it's nice to be able to swap those around i guess so that's another bonus um, you can switch it up a bit, okay? And But yeah, I mean, that's kind of what you're paying for as well, okay? And that's why you've got the pivot screw and so you can take it apart as well uh, if you like to take apart your knives, okay? And that's it, really. Uh, thanks for watching. Just a quick review, uh, comparison review, okay? And uh, price is availability. Look at links below. Show your support by giving us a like 
and by hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Stay sharp. Thank you.